wow, that's it. With this recipe, I was like, okay, what's next? But no, that's, that's literally it. My name is Priya Krishna. I am a food writer and the author of the cookbook, Indianish. I'm in my kitchen in Brooklyn. It's very tiny. And we're gonna make one of my favorite appetizers and it is called Indianish Baked Potatoes. My mom, when she immigrated to the States in 1980, she discovered the baked potato. So she was like, what if I just made the baked potato but put the ingredients that I like on there? And so was born this like really easy, pretty party appetizer that I kind of, when I don't know what else to make, I just, you can just kind of whip it out of your back pocket. The first step is probably the longest. You're just baking the potatoes for 45 minutes. Most of the time when you're making a baked potato, you're thinking those like large oblong russet varieties. One thing that my mom did I thought was really smart was she discovered that you could make them with these little baby potatoes and that they make for a nicer presentation. They're sort of one or two bites. So she either uses small red potatoes like this or baby new potatoes. You just want them to be all the same size or they won't cook evenly. The benefit of baking them is that you kind of get this like really nice like papery skin and a plush interior. And this is also something that comes like, you're not putting any oil on these potatoes, you're just roasting them dry like this. And you'll see when they come out, like the skin kind of shatters in this really pleasant way when you're eating it. And that just comes from literally just dry baking them. All right, so these are gonna go to the oven for 45 minutes. That is more than enough time to get all of your other stuff prepped. The first element is onion. I also like this recipe because it is like very forgiving for people like me who are bad at chopping. I wanna say something like really profane so that the footage of me chopping gets cut. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Could have been more painful. And now we're gonna do our ginger. So usually I like to say like, like a thumb's worth of ginger for this recipe, like about this much. Do not worry about peeling it. If you love peeling ginger, more power to you. I like chopping my ginger reasonably fine because I just don't like having like the big ginger bits in my mouth when I bite into something. Is there a reason why you prefer chopping rather than grating? You can, you can totally grate it if you want. I'm just like, I just don't like grating things that are not cheese. I'm just like terrified of nicking this part of my finger and I always feel like I end up with waste. If you want to grate, like, you can totally grate. This recipe is not judging you for your decisions and neither am I. Indian cooking would not be Indian cooking without cilantro. It is like the light, bright finishing element. Do not overlook the stems. The stems have a ton of flavor and as long as you're finely chopping them, like you can totally put them in a dish. All right, and then we're gonna do our chili. Don't worry about seeding your chilies. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I think that none of us should be seeding our chilies. And it's, it's too much work. And then you're having to take the chilies out and then you have spicy fingers and then you put them in your eye. I don't know, I just, I just think up all sorts of doomsday scenarios when I'm cooking. <laughs> So I have prepped all this stuff out, super easy. I've got my sour cream at the ready, my chop masala at the ready. We're just gonna check on our potatoes and see if they're done. All right, yeah, these are perfect. We're gonna let them cool for just a couple minutes. You don't want them to be really hot because you're putting sour cream on, so you wanna get them to about room temperature and then you're good to go. All right. Now, I just have one more question before yeah. we go. Yeah, what's up? What does Indianish mean? Indianish is not only a good way to describe the food that we make at home, we being my family, which is sort of like rooted in Indian flavors, but pulling inspiration from all around the world. And, but it was also kind of like who we are as people, the fact that we speak a combination of Hindi and English at home, the fact that we watch Bollywood movies and have also seen Top Gun 50 times. And I used to think that I was either Indian or American and I couldn't be both. And now I'm like, no. I can be both. Those are not mutually exclusive things. Every recipe in my book is very much a reflection of that, that blending. All right, so these are all cool. So to assemble these, it's super easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut these into fourths, but not all the way down. So once you've cut it like this, you're gonna push down and out at the same time and kind of make it look like a blooming flower, like this. See? All right, so you're gonna do that to a bunch of potatoes. And it may take a little bit of practice. Your first few may not look great, but then your last few will kind of look awesome. 
The other thing that I really love is see how like the skin is falling out like that? I just, it like really does look like a blooming flower. All right, so now we're gonna salt our potatoes. Be generous, but not too generous because we are going to be putting chaat masala on these and chaat masala is salted. Potatoes have an inherently great flavor. So you're sort of like building the base, like potato-y flavor. Then we're gonna put our sour cream. I love sour cream. It was one of those things that like, I tried for the first time and just immediately freaked out at how good it was. I wish it were health food. So you're just gonna do a little dollop, just like that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna put the rest of our toppings. This is so easy. Onions. And then we've got our ginger. Again, with ginger, I try and just go lighter to start because I feel like some people just, the raw ginger taste is a lot. And then we go cilantro, chilies, and then chaat masala. So this is like, honestly, like a miracle spice blend. I cannot live without it. The main flavors are black salt, um, amshur, dry mango powder, cumin, and it just has this like really intense, really like pungent, like deep taste to it. It makes food taste lip smacking. So we're gonna liberally douse our baked potatoes with chaat masala. I like to just make sure that it's going into the crevices, like all up in the sour cream, all up on the potato skin. Oh, I love the smell of chaat masala. So these are like, you know, one to two bite operations. You kind of just have to evaluate each potato for what it is. I'm gonna call this a two biter. Mm. Oh my God. What I love about this recipe is just there's so many textures. You're getting the silkiness of the potatoes, the paperiness of the skin, creaminess of the sour cream, all the brightness and crunchiness from the onions and the cilantro and the chilies. And then that like funkified layer of chopped masala on the top. They're just like one bite powerhouses of flavor. Except when it's two bites. <laughs>